Welcome sa ating channel. We are here to talk about the MSI GF65 Intel Core i5 RTX 3060 gaming laptop. This time of pandemic and new school year, back to school, the struggle of looking for a very good or decent desktop or gaming laptop is quite tough. Now with that being said, na check na rin po natin previously last year yung kanilang MSI GF63 Thin Edition and uh, it's not quite good pagdating sa ating feedback. Maybe some of you guys have uh, find me a bit critical on that laptop pero this time around, we are quite more impressed than before. Pero still, in the end of the day, there are pros and cons and let's find out if this is a laptop that is for you to consider or not. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Before we will proceed, ang review na to is more on pag-uusapan natin yung mga dapat i-highlight na features, things that are not quite commonly seen with other laptop or gaming laptops and something that uh, make this uh, laptop worth it or something that uh, make you think na hindi ito yung laptop na para sa iyo. So let's start doon sa kanyang physical aesthetics. This comes with a chassis na merong brush aluminum finish sa kanyang top except sa kanyang bottom housing. By just looking at the laptop, it comes with those uh, accent, especially the logo na red. And when you open it, makikita mo rin dyan yung kanyang chiclet keyboard that comes with a red backlight. And a touchpad that comes with a typical size for a gaming laptop. Speaking about input devices, meron din tayo mga ports sa kanyang uh, both sides. That includes yung kanyang charging port and that HDMI port. And then sa kanyang kabilang side naman, are two USB Type-C that can be considered for display output and at the same time, USB Type-A. Nandyan din po yung kanyang audio port and at the same time, LAN port. This is the webcam quality, 720p resolution and ito naman yung kanyang uh, microphone quality. So I highly suggest that if you, uh, you will be using this laptop for work from home, I think it's better if you will have your dedicated microphone or uh, yes, audio device. While with that being said sa kanyang physical aesthetics, what's the most important in here is yung kanyang internal part at the same time yung kanyang bottom housing. The bottom housing is now much improved compared sa previous version. And dito makikita nyo na sobrang dami niyang vent holes and uh, tumatapat po siya sa kanyang mga heat sinks and heat pipes. Inopen natin yung laptop and here we found out that this is much improved cooling system compared sa kanilang previous uh, version before at a 50k pricing. Six heat pipes, dual fan. Before, single fan, tapos lesser heat pipes pa. This is six heat pipes. And this is a very good thing done by MSI to neutralize the cooling inside. Dahil mas masikip, then we need to have more heat pipes and heat sinks to dissipate the heat. Now, ito pa yung isa sa mga magandang na-appreciate ko pagdating sa MSI gaming laptops na hindi ko nabanggit before. MSI is one of the well-known manufacturer pagdating sa motherboard. And that is quite different with the other brands like Acer, Dell, HP na umaasa sila sa mga third-party company for them to outsource their parts, especially yung pinaka-importanting part ng isang laptop, that is the motherboard. And here we found out that it comes with 8GB RAM, 512GB NVMe SSD, and an extra slot for M.2 SSD kung gusto nyo pang magdagdag. Especially that 512GB is uh, good enough if a sports gaming lang, pero if you want to go further like uh, play AAA games, that 512GB is not enough for you. Now, with that being said about sa internal parts, physical aesthetics, what matters most pagdating sa mga gaming laptop is yung kanyang performance. Performance pagdating sa gaming at the same time pagdating sa production, Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop. Let's start with the gaming. Out of the box, makikita po natin that with 8GB RAM, eto na naman po tayo, sasabihin nyo naman po sa akin, na baka hindi nakasalpak yung kanyang charger at bakit ganyan lang yung kanyang FPS for an RTX 3060 video card. 
Well, I know that uh, that is the thing na kumbaga question nyo sa aking previous review because I've shown you the out of the box. And this is the problem with uh, some gaming laptops or laptop manufacturer, especially with the offers that comes with this RTX 3060. Maybe for uh, initial price offer and cost cutting, that is a good move. And this is quite disappointing for some consumers, especially if uh, they will just uh, buy a laptop online and uh, wala sila nakausap na sales for some recommendation. And speaking about recommendation, if you buy a laptop with this kind of power pagdating sa kanyang processor and video card, I think that single stick 8GB is really one of the huge bottleneck pagdating sa out-of-the-box performance. Yun yung dahilan ko bakit nagdagdag pa ako ng isang 8GB RAM for a 16GB and dual channel setup. And here we have the benchmark. There. Yan po yung makikita nyong benchmark with Dota 2, CSGO, GTA 5, side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, there is a very huge leap. Now, before we will proceed for more benchmarks, here is the thing. Saan ba nakakita ng benchmark about processor tapos ang gagamitin yung resolution 1440p? Diba? They are just using 1440p and 4K resolution just for additional benchmark. Pero in most cases, that will be done with a 1080p resolution. The involvement of CPU pagdating sa 1080p resolution is so huge. And that will be relative to RAM. RAM is one of the factor or one of the, kumbaga, let's make it not so technical. Kumbaga sila yung middleman for that data to be transferred from the storage to the CPU para ma-process, RAM ang pinaka-importante component to do that. That is why there is a very huge impact ng RAM during the benchmark dahil 1080p naman mostly ang mga budget gaming laptops. And budget gaming laptops running at 1080p will use a lot of power from the CPU. And pagdating sa 1080p benchmark, as I have said earlier, malaki po ang ginagampanan or yung impact ng CPU. Ito yung dahilan ko bakit hindi ko ginawang graph. I showed you a side-by-side -side raw data for you guys to appreciate how big is the impact of that added 8 gig RAM. Now, with that being said, let's proceed naman sa ating other benchmark. Of course, we run this with a AAA game and that is Shadow of Tomb Raider. Makikita nyo po dyan that it comes with a very decent performance. Dito ngayon papasok naman na dapat if uh, you availed a gaming laptop, kahit pa paano you are familiar with their utilities, for you to customize the fans dahil napakalaking impact po ng cooling pagdating sa performance. Why? Let's check this again. The higher the temperature, the lower the frequency, the, the lower the boost, and then that will be also equal to the lower FPS, lower or more disappointing gaming experience. Dito ngayon ginawa natin is we tweak the fans by using the MSI utility and uh, at least we improve the fan curve by uh, increasing it to 75%, 80% to 90% fan speed as uh, the CPU or GPU uh, get harder. So dito ngayon nagkaroon ng significant improvement and when we run the benchmark again, at least kahit pa paano, we gain a higher FPS at the same time, cooler component inside and that will also guarantee a better or longer lifespan para sa ating laptop, especially for the CPU and GPU. Yes, it's quite a very minimal increase pagdating sa benchmark, pero just imagine and scale it. Now, how about if we will be using this laptop not just for 3 hours, 4 hours, or even 5 hours to 8 hours, di ba? And sobrang taas ng temperature. Just imagine how will it affect other components. The GPU. Nung mas mataas yung temperature ng CPU, of course, that GPU will also have a higher temperature. And in most cases, gaming laptops concern or problems after few years, three years, or five years, anong pinaka problema? It is mostly CPU chip or GPU chip. Yan po ang kadalasang natatamaan pagdating sa mga component ng gaming laptops because of very high temperature. Let's move on naman sa mga other benchmarks. We run here Hitman 2, Hitman 3, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Cyberpunk, and here are the graphs that you may take as a reference and uh, just check the quality that uh, we set when we have those uh, numbers for you guys to increase the uh, game quality if uh, sobrang taas na sa inyo or acceptable na sa inyo yung FPS na pinakita natin pero pag nakukulangan naman po kayo sa FPS niya then you may also adjust the settings for your higher FPS or more competitive FPS especially for eSports games. Now after the gaming benchmarks, let's proceed naman sa ating production. 
at Blender 3D for architects and engineers if you want to consider this by the things of 3D editing or 3D rendering. Uh, it's quite acceptable yung kanyang GPU rendering uh, capability. Pero I don't recommend this as uh, one of the go-to laptops that you may consider. I think it's better if you will settle down with the i7 variant of this. Dahil maganda nga yung kanyang GPU for uh, GPU rendering. Pero since most of the part ng uh, production is nasa editing, it's better to settle down with i7 and upgrade the RAM up to 32GB. Dahil alam naman po natin that even with Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop, editing is always consuming a lot of RAMs. Pero for the sake of numbers and benchmarks, here is the benchmark by the things Adobe Premiere with random 4K and 1080p video files. And here is also the numbers pagdating naman po sa Photoshop editing. Of course, pagdating sa editing ng photos, medyo mas magaan po ang photos compared sa videos. Kaya it's safe to say that this is a very good laptop pagdating sa photo editors. Pero pagdating sa mga video editors, uh, it's quite uh, not so uh, kumbaga recommended laptop especially uh, videographers or uh, photographers who buy laptop for their SDEs baka mamaya magka problema lang kayo along the way so I highly suggest that kung video editor ka din and uh, more on a 4K yung i-edit mo better consider the i7 variant pero kung isa kang editor that is uh, kumbaga more on 1080p lang naman or casual uh, video editor lang naman pang uh, vlog or pang uh, uh, family picture, family videos then uh, you may also consider this as a laptop pero be sure that the primary reason kung bakit mo to consider is gaming kasi as much as it's a very good gaming laptop it is not also the best pagdating sa editing kaya kung ang primary reason mo is uh, for editing better check the i7 variant and yes, talking about editing, of course, yung kanyang panel is a very important thing to consider also. This comes with an IPS panel, pero it's not that IPS na kumbaga you look forward to check. Yes, it's good in terms of viewing angle. Um, quite uh, not so much pagdating sa backlight bleeding, pero there's still a backlight bleeding. Pero pagdating sa kanyang uh, color accuracy or how rich the color is, uh, yeah. It's just a better uh, panel compared sa previous variant. Pero it's still not a good panel, especially for, uh, yes, editor. Or for the sake of competition, if we will try to compare it with other laptops at this kind of price point, yes, it's uh, really competitive. For cooling system, I highly suggest na mag-purchase po kayo ng cooling pad. Uh, let's try to maximize that bottom case. Since the bottom case is exposing, almost exposing yung mga heat pipes and heat sinks inside hindi siya nakatapat sa mismong fan which is I don't understand at first pero at some point na intindihan ko rin na siguro they want to avoid na maging dust collector yung uh, laptop kung nakatapat yung mismong vent holes sa mga fans kaya they try to neutralize the design by adding more vent holes sa bandang gitna because we consumers should also buy a cooling pad if you buy this. Other than that, it's up to you guys now if you think this is acceptable laptop, reasonable for you two guys to buy. Bang for the buck at a 50k plus price point compared to other brands out there, I think this is a very competitive laptop that we may have. So comment down below for additional inputs and things that uh, you want to say about this uh, laptop. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. <music>